Win again. Ready to go, and they're off. Gone without Escarpment, who was withdrawn on the vet's advice at the start. So just six runners now as they race away over two miles. Our longest race of the night is the Unibet 0% Mission Handicap Stakes. One of the first to show is the well bat Nata Carter on the inside, the grey. Looking to break her maiden here. On the outside in the green is Double the Trouble in second position. Racing in behind them is Zivania. Bit keen on the outside. Pop the champagne back on the inner in the pink and blue. Then the purple of Grandee, the veteran. And the bat mark at this stage is Easter Icon in the blue and green silks. But Nata Carter it is who dictates around the opening couple of turns. Long way to go, but Nata Carter has the lead of about a length to Double the Trouble, who's happy to sit in second place at this stage. Racing behind those in third is Pop the Champagne, a four-time winner over hurdles on the inside of Zivania, who's racing out wider in the blue and yellow. Ashin Murphy is back towards the inside, the former champion jockey, looking for his third win of the night here. He rides Grandee, and the back marker is Easter Icon, the blue and green under young Jack Enright. A little bit keen at the back as well as they continue their journey up past the stands here. And Nata Carter still dictating the grey, the filly under Laura Pearson. So Nata Carter it is who leads by a length at this stage to racing in second place, double the trouble. Towards the inside is Pop the Champagne under Callum Shepherd. Then comes Zivania as they cross the line with a circuit to go. Next in the field is Grandee, and the back mark of the six remains Easter Icon. Still Nata Carter dictating in front, leading in the hands of Laura Pearson. So by about three parts of a length to double the trouble, the green colours in second. Pop the champagne back on the rails in third. Zivania in the blinkers is on the outside for Ross Coakley. Ashi Murphy has Grandy in fifth place, anchored on the inside. And also written with restraint is Easter Icon at the back, a last time out winner. Jack Enright on board. So racing them past the halfway point now, they're inside their final mile. Still the grey filly, Nata Carter, out in front. Leads by three parts of a length to double the trouble for Paddy Bradley in the green in second. Pop the champagne back on the inside in third. Then comes Zivania in fourth place. Followed then by Grandy, the hoops on the cap. And the back in the green sleeves remains Easter Icon. No change in the order at all, really. They make the run then towards the final five and a half furlongs, preparing to turn right-handed towards the side of the course. It's still Nata Carter who leads here in the cheek pieces. Nata Carter by a length to double the trouble, the white face in second. On the inside is Pop the Champagne in third, Zivania in fourth, and then Grandy in fifth, and the back marker of the six remains Easter Icon. Still no change in the order. Around the turn they go inside the final half mile. Nata Carter will bring them for home in front by about a half length to double the trouble in second. Back on the inside, Pop the Champagne, then Zivania. One now makes a move, Easter Icon goes up on the outside of Zivania. Grandy is the back marker, but still moving quite well. Now they turn for home inside the three. Nata Carter, can she finish what she started? She still leads by a half length. She had ridden along, pop the champagne. Out wider is double the trouble. Zivania is next, Grandy, and then comes Easter Icon. But Nata Carter is still finding plenty in front. Zivania is now making ground, though, down the outside for Ross Coakley. Zivania and Nata Carter, these two will fight it out. Double the trouble is next, then pop the champagne. It's Zivania in front here. He leads Zivania. Nata Carter can find no more. It's going to be a winner for Hugh. Hugo Palmer here, Zivania for Ross Coakley wins. Nata Carter, every chance was second, third, double the trouble, and fourth, pop the champagne. The first, second, and third were all maidens coming into this contest, but Zivania is the one that loses the maiden tag at the 13th attempt. Ross Coakley riding for Hugo Palmer, and despite looking awkward once hitting the front, that tongue tie might just have helped the finishing efforts of this individual. Second again, Natakata. I think that's our third runners-up slide.